About to leave Already packing Come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away To a place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Hello and welcome to Cruise Travel and Explore with Stickman Steve. Thank you for joining me today. This is day 14 of our 15 day cruise, which is the Adriatic Affair and Sail the Free Seas. In day 14, we are ported at Bar Montenegro. Uh, one thing, we, we ended up booking another Morella excursion again, but the excursion we previously booked, we ended up cancelling it because Previous to this one, we already visited a, a lake uh, in one of the excursions, which was Lake Bled. And this excursion we were supposed to go on was another lake. We just didn't fancy the long journey, so we ended up cancelling it. And we didn't really want to spend a lot of money on another excursion, to be honest. So we looked at what was available, and we ended up booking the cheapest excursion that Morella did in Bar Montenegro, uh, which was to Starry Bar. And that particular excursion was £28 each. We didn't know anything about it. We just thought it was a little town, so we booked it not expecting much for £28. Anyway, the excursion we went on was around about an half an hour bus coach uh, that Morella put on to Starry Bar. And when we got off the coach, we were thinking, what the hell have we booked here? <laughs> there was nothing there. But as we got off the coach, and I think everyone else thought the same thing, but when we got off the coach and walked down the road, uh, we came across loads of restaurants and bars, and we just kept on walking up. And then we saw this entrance to uh, to somewhere we didn't know what it was so we paid the i think it was around about five euros which took you into this castle and ruins it was absolutely amazing it was such a good day uh, it was an half a day excursion i think it was around about four hours i highly recommend uh paying the money and going to starry bar it's absolutely beautiful uh the ruins that are there uh, i'm hoping all the footage i've taken does it justice and all the restaurants and bars outside of there they were amazing we did two bars uh, went one bar for some drinks and we went another bar for more drinks and food and the second bar we went to did pomegranate beer and pomegranate wine and it was absolutely incredible so we absolutely love this day so this is Starry Bar and just after Starry Bar I'm going to take you on a tour around parts of the uh, cruise ship on the Explorer 2 and also after that we go to Bingo we go for a meal at one of the MDRs and we go for a drink at the Squid and Anchor this is the bike tours on the Morella on deck five. Now the bike tours, uh, almost every port they've run a bike tour and they range from about 45 pound per person. Now on the right hand side is destination services. This is where you book all your Morella excursions and this is where you would book them if you've not booked them online or if you want to cancel any excursions or any additional information regarding excursions. So it's just next to the bike tours. This is the dining club. This is Morella's fine dining restaurant. I think the price is roughly 32 to 35 pound per person. Now, this is a bookable restaurant, so I advise if you want to go on this restaurant to get it booked as early as possible. Uh, and this is on deck five.
This is flutes on deck six of the Morella Explorer 2. Now this bar is classed as one of your sort of premium bars. Uh, and what I mean by that is if you're on a premium all-inclusive package, all your drinks are included at this particular bar. If you're not on the premium all-inclusive, doesn't matter, you can still go for drinks here. Uh, any of the premium all-inclusive drinks, you would have to pay an additional fee. Now also, if you head over to our Facebook group, which is called Cruise Travel and Explore with Stickman Steve, I've uploaded all the PDF files for all the bars and restaurants on the Mirella Explorer 2. And those PDF files, it shows you the prices for the drinks if you weren't on the premium all-inclusive package and also what drinks you can get at those particular bars. So please head over there now uh, if you'd like to see those menus. everybody if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more great content like the video if you find it helpful and entertaining and don't forget to press that notification bell so you never miss an update again thank you for your support This is the Coral Art, which is on deck six of the Marilla Explorer 2. Now, this restaurant is classed as one of your speciality a la carte restaurants. Uh, if you want to dine here at the time when we bought this, it was around about £28.95. I think it might have uh, gone up to around about £32.95. I would highly recommend it. Amazing restaurant. We've been here a couple of times.
If you would like to see the menu for the Coral Isle restaurant, if you head over to the Facebook group, which is Cruise, Travel and Explore with Stickman Steve, I've uploaded PDF files for this particular restaurant. Now on this restaurant, if you're sailing for two weeks, they will alternate the menu. So they'll have a menu A and a menu B. Uh, but if you're doing a one week cruise, it will probably just stay the same restaurant. But if you head over to the Facebook group, you'll be able to look at what you can order. This is the 19th fall on deck seven of the Marilla Explorer 2. Now this particular bar, again, is classed as a, a premium, uh, all-inclusive bar, but again, you can go away if you're not on the premium package. If you wanted any of the speciality cocktails, you can just pay an additional fee for them. But around the bar, they have the little plaques in it, uh, and also at the tables, they have these menus, and each uh, cocktail is uh, golf themed. Also on this particular bar, there is uh, a golf area where you can pay, I can't, I'm trying to think now whether there's a fee to do this or you just put your name out. I think there was a fee of £15 and I think it was for one hour. There was a golf simulator, there actually two golf simulators that you can hire out uh, for an hour. And I think if no one's booked in after you, they'll let you stay in there longer. So this is the... Uh, the 19th floor. again i've uploaded the menus the drinks menus for this particular bar uh, on our facebook group which is cruise travel and explore with steak man steve
This is Story Bar in Montenegro. This is the excursion that we pay for. Again, as mentioned previously, when we booked this excursion, we weren't sure what to expect. We ended up just booking the cheapest excursion we could do, and I think it was just £28 per person. Uh, that includes your coach fare to Story Bar, and that is it. But when the coach drops you off, there's a load of bars and restaurants. If you continue walking up to the very top, you'll come across, uh, there's an entrance to the, it's like a castle or fort, uh, ruins in there and we paid five euros roughly to enter that for un unlimited so you could spend as much time as you wanted in there i would highly recommend entering into that old uh, ruins it was absolutely amazing and we didn't even know this existed in Story bar it's just something we came across it was worth going there alone just to see that and once you leave there the there's so many amazing bars and restaurants and the food was incredible we uh, we went to a local restaurant and he caught us because they were advertising in uh, pomegranate by, uh, beer and wine so once he said pomegranate beer and wine that, that was all he had to say we went in there and we got this vegetarian platter uh, it was absolutely amazing so much flavour I would highly recommend if you get opportunity to go to Starry Bar Now, if you need the toilets, they're directly behind me. You're going to see in the corner there, you can see a little sign. So I think this is the only toilets on the premises of this uh, archaeological site. So there they are.
Now, at this part of the excursion, things went a little bit wrong uh, for us, for me and Gemma on this particular excursion. Uh, I went off to take some photographs and do some more video footage. In the time, Gemma mentioned she would wait in a, a certain area uh, in the shades, but we have a, we just miss her, miss heard what each other said so when I went for a wonder and came back I couldn't find Gemma and Gemma came looking for me as well and she couldn't find me so we're really panicking that we'd lost each other uh, probably for about 20 minutes in total so I was really upset that we couldn't find each other and she was as well so there's a lot more to see this particular uh, site that I fortunately I didn't get to uh, to get any footage of so if you do go here there is a lot more to see there's a main area where the fort is that you can uh, you can see uh, there's some drone footage which coming up shortly they'll be able to see uh, but that's why some of it's cut short but 100% if you do go to Starry Bar please go to this uh, this place it's absolutely amazing oh and the good news is is that we found each other uh, kissed and made up so everything was happy in the end for a drink and we went to this little bar called the 085 uh, really nice little bar there was some nice tables outside was expensive I think a beer was around about three euros and it's just outside the main entrance and just up the little hill before the mosque
Now, once we came out of the uh, the fortress and had a beer at the Club 05, we were quite hungry. So this is a place I was talking about. They did the pomegranate beer and pomegranate wine. It was absolutely amazing. It's probably one of the best wines and beers we've had. Uh, it was that good. We actually ordered another wine and another beer. And the food here is amazing. It's just, uh, there's an image, uh, a drone footage uh, above, and it shows you where this restaurant is. You can't miss it. It's called Canodal Bedroom. Uh, if you search for it on Google or, uh, or type in that name, you'll come across it. But it's got loads of outside seating area. Uh, it's got some balconies that you can go and sit on. But again, I would highly recommend eating and drinking there. We're coming to the end of the excursion from the fortress itself to the coach area you're probably looking around about a 15 minute walk it was a difficult walk but if you do have some mobility issues uh, it, you might struggle with the walk uh, it was a lovely place and i think we're only about half an hour away from the cruise terminal Now, after an amazing excursion, it was bingo time. Uh, we played bingo on the cruise ship, I think around about four times. Now, today was their biggest prize draw because it was the final day. Now, if you want to play bingo, you can only buy your tickets from guest services. So where the atrium is, reception area, that's where you get them from. And it's five pound a book. Now you get three games in one book. So me and Gemma, we'd spent 10 pound in total. Uh, and this was the, for the big cash draw. There was three games in total. Which is side to side. 
if you had a bingo yesterday, you know what I mean. <laughs> So we're going to go one horizontal line of your brown ticket, side to side. And today's one line prize is a whopping £208.02. That's two pounds, we really pushing it over. Today's two line prize is £416.04. And then we're going to go on to our green ticket game which is your jackpot full house game and I'm going to make you sweat a little bit longer before I tell you how much your jackpot is. Now I can see you congratulations, that is a rally play, we need to want 200 and 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 Well, your final number now was 32. Let's check that back. 75, 78, 78, and 82. 82. Thank you so much for playing along with your big movie. Guys, we hope you enjoyed your night on board. Showcast are bringing you the sequin disco phenomenon that is 54. It's a brilliant show. So make sure that you come on and see that is at 8.30 time. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. That's very nice, Mike. <laughs> Thank you very much. I think even like the first port in Montenegro, right. as much as it didn't go to far, like sitting and overlooking in that canyon, and like I say, it was like we do that only three people there. Yeah. And, and going through, even though we knew we'd lost the wallet, that they still didn't. Even, even just going and sitting and having, going through the old town and sitting and having a glass of wine and everything. We didn't, we didn't like it, we weren't. No, and um, that's, a, that's those moments, isn't it, where something doesn't quite go so right. Yeah. It's just a step back and just think, you know what, it wasn't what we planned. Yeah. But what's come from that yeah. unexpected change of force and then yeah. being a really special day. Mm. So, for instance, when we went to Robinich and we were supposed to get the cable car yeah. to the top of the uh, mountain, and we walked out of the port to find a cable car, yeah. but in the end we decided that we wouldn't, we wouldn't, we, we just wasn't worth the hassle. Yeah. And because of that, because we went outside to find it, there was a little restaurant there, yeah. and we thought, okay, we'll, we'll get a drink and stay. Yeah. And it ended up being an amazing restaurant where the food was oh, incredible. Yeah. And it overlooked for, it was stunning, it was beautiful. Yeah. But again, that was that one of those. <laughs> More like a spontaneous thing, it's just something yeah. that was planned didn't happen and yeah. you changed it and did something else. Yeah. So I, I like that. And again, same with today's excursion, yeah. where we did uh, Slovenia. Yeah. What was the village called? Oh, you mean Bar? Yeah, sorry, sorry. Montenegro, sorry. Yeah. Bar. It's Bar. Yeah. See that, again, we were supposed to do a completely different excursion. Yeah. It changed it or something. Different yeah. than what we originally planned, I knew nothing about it. Yeah. And when I remember the courts pulling up, freaking, where is it taking us? There's nothing here. Yeah. It just seemed like there was, and I think everyone else felt that as well. You could see everybody looking around thinking, well, what do we do? Yeah. There was no direction. Yeah. You didn't say, right, you go down that road, or you go up that hill, or yeah. you just. Yeah. We got off and I was thinking, right, what, what do we do here now? We've missed them to be out here. Everyone just huddled in a big group, weren't we? Thinking, yeah. right, I don't know what we're supposed to do. Yeah. So I was like, why is everybody stood around? It's like, you don't like walking to it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. Right, thank you. Fantastic, thank well, you very much. One of the things, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, you have yeah. to meet both his friends. Yes. I have to. Yeah, okay. last night. Last night, we'll Yeah, so that place we ended up today, I absolutely loved it. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Those meatballs are really tough. Yeah. Mm. It feels like they've been uh, left under a heat plate. Mm. Not bad. No, no, I'm gutted. The last two times I've come here, they've been absolutely amazing. It's all really nice though. Mm. And I have to stop saying that, I keep saying that every time. 
Oh, yeah, I'll try one of that. Oh, yeah, I'll try one of that. No, it's too full of fun. Oh, yeah, I'll try one of that. 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 Oh, Oh, weird taste. Does that taste different? Mm. Well, right, maybe you need to try and make it, you know? Maybe do like a meat. A meat. Masaka. I always pronounce it, but. Yeah, it tastes very nice. Let's see how this is. Are you going to try a little bit? Is that the Sicilian beef? Mm. Is it like actually like beef steak? Like, just describe it to me. It's like shredded beef, mm. but wrapped up, you can imagine like a meatball in that kind of shape. Yeah. With the same same sauce to use for the meatballs, so you've got that uh, tomato puree with the garlic and herbs. That surrounds the uh, shredded beef, but it's wrapped tightly. Yeah. So it feels like it's a meatball, uh -huh. but then you get the different consistency of the beef. Ah. Uh. But it's, yeah, I really like that. So you said there was raisins in it, are you getting much of the raisins? I've not, I've not had any raisins yet. I really like that. Yeah? Mm. Oh, the biggest. Uh, this is an uh, inside cabin, this is 4065, so I'll give you a little bit of a tour. Not a bad size, when we, when we first booked this I was a little bit concerned that the size of it might be a bit too small. But we've been in this two weeks now and I've got to say that it's ample enough space for me and Gemma. Loads of drawer space, it's cupboard space, so it doesn't feel small whatsoever. Two side drawers, you've got two drawers in each, you've got a phone which we've not used whatsoever. And you've got these uh, little lamps, they've got a switch there, but also down at the side here, where I finger is, there's a, a USB. Not use that because we've got the different types of USB with the iPhones and iPads, so we can't use those. But if you've got a normal USB uh, device, then you can plug, plug them into there. And the same on this side as well. You've got your, there you go, you might be able to see it. You can see that, you've got your. USB switch there and you've got your on and off switches there again two drawers uh, bed's pretty comfortable we like a firm bed so for us it's not ideal and the pillars are, are really soft again we have orthopedic pillars so the pillars are not perfect but some people might like a soft pair with soft pillars so for them it might be perfect but for us generally it's been alright not slept brilliantly but we've still slept well uh, on this side, let me just switch the lights on so you can see. <coughs> You've got a switch here, on and off switch. So if you ladies like to do your makeup, up there, just go back down again, switch it on. You can sit here in front of your mirror and do your makeup or your hair. We've got three drawers either side. There you go. Right, three drawers there. You've got your uh, pull out chair. And on this side, you've got one plug there, and you've got a second one, but we've been using this one. Uh, so, plenty of space there. You've got your kettle, which is there. You've got your tea, coffee, which they refill every day, and a bottle of water. But we've upgraded to the premium. So, if you're doing a standard inclusive, then you don't get a bottle of water every day. But for us, we, we like to have a glass of water at night. And we've been filling our bottles up with. Uh, with this water each day and taking it over, so it's been ideal. We've found on the excursions that we're getting quite thirsty, so it, it for us it's definitely been well worth it. With the sake, I think it's £10 a day, we've definitely made uh, a saving there. Uh, you've got this, I think this is for putting leaflets and brochures and newsletters in. We've not used this, but I guess that's, that's what we think it is. Uh, if I'm wrong, let me know. Uh, behind this mirror, We've also got extra storage 
you've got a few shelves there and you've got a safe which is included you don't have to pay additional for that you set your own code uh, we've been using it every day so you've got ample space in there as well and on this side you've got uh, you've got your tv and let me just move this case out of the way you've got a cupboard in here it looks like that's where the fridge used to be because there's a plug switch down there or a socket i can't really see what it is but i can see some form of switch so we've not used that at all we've just been placing the cases there and i don't know why we've placed the cases there because i've just realized on the last day when i was doing some photographs the cases actually fit in the wardrobes and i'd have known that not being so stupid i would have put them in there but you've got anyway you've got extra space there as well you've got a shelf here and you've got your cover space there and you've got a shelf up here as well so this is where your beach towers are you've got your tv you've got some English stations you've got uh, sky sports news bbc one a couple of movie stations there and sorry a couple of movie stations and you've also got a music station as well we've been more or less listening to the radio station every day because the music has been varied they've had r&b a bit of hip-hop bit of 70s 80s 90s modern so that's what we've been listening to up there you've got your uh pillars or uh, cushions but they they remove these during the evening when they're doing the turn down service and then they'll put them back there for you in the morning once you've gone out and come back and if I scroll back around again I forgot to show you something uh, you turn down service you get a lovely little chocolate put on your pillar every day and I've just remembered as well behind the pillar there is a switch here so that switches all your lights on and off well, you've got your mirrors in front of you. Uh, one thing I will say about the room, and I've loved this compared to when we've done a lot of land based solids, there's so much light in it, it's dead bright, and it's perfect because we've been we're staying in a lot of hotel uh, rooms in the past and they've been so dark. There's very limited light, but in here there's, the light's absolutely amazing. There's so much light, uh, especially when you put your uh, dressing table lights on, your bedside lamps and your main lights as well so ah, and you've got a chair in the corner as well which we uh, which you use occasionally well i use but I, I think the room's fantastic i think there's plenty of space in here and i say we were a bit concerned because we, we thought that it might be a bit too claustrophobic we might be in each other's uh, space but we're not it's not been like that whatsoever and we were definitely booking inside cabin again because we, 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 we ought to spend any time in it we get dressed in the morning, we go for breakfast and we don't come back until after an excursion and then again we get changed and, and out so for, for a couple or a, a single person then it's absolutely perfect there's no need to, to worry about oh you're going to be claustrophobic whether there's been enough space there's ample amount of space don't get me wrong we would love to have a balcony or maybe a, a window but for the additional costs it costs I mean for, for for a balcony if you can afford it then no problem at all but you're looking almost you could do a week's all inclusive for the same price as upgrading to a balcony if the offers an upgrade then yeah we'd, we'd, we'd take it oh and you've got a metal bin down there in the corner as well uh, there's plenty of mirrors that are everywhere you've got the dressing table you've got the mirrors behind the bed as well uh, you've got another mirror there just behind the wardrobe and you have another mirror there uh, wardrobe space there's plenty of wardrobes so you've got more blankets up there if you need them when you're cold you've got plenty of hangers but depending how many shirts or dresses you bring you might want some more i think i've read or been told that you can just phone reception if you need more hangers so see plenty of space there and your cases can fit in here you're worried about the cases fitting under the bed they won't fit on the bed because we've tried we've got a small old old luggage in there but well, uh, big cases, they can't fit in there, more than enough space. You've got another wardrobe here. Again, you've got your life jackets on the top, plenty of space. And <sighs> this is another thing I just found out on the last day. You've got this little device as well. So if you've got any pants or anything else, you can hang them on that as well. Again, been here two weeks, not noticed it. So I'll double mine. So you've got that as well. Okay, so what's that? And then you've got another wardrobe space here with you've got more, uh, you've got an extra duvet up there in case you get really cold, which you're not going to because the, the room's more than comfortable temperature wise. You've got a little hanger here, 
uh, to put your stuff on. You've got more shelves, one, two, three, four. Plenty of shelves there. And then you've got even more draw, uh, drawer flesh. You've got another three drawers down here as well. So there is ample of, uh, of wardrobe space. Uh, I think that is everything. Oh, and you've got a, you've got a hook here to uh, hang your robes or your towels. And one thing that we've purchased, and I'll put a link for these, these little magnetic hooks. So if you've got any magnets or magnetic hooks or carriers, the, the wall's magnetic so you can stick anything to it. So that's what we've been doing. And then we've, we've just hung up our uh, details for tomorrow because this is our last night. We've got a couple of pictures on the wall. Uh, and you've got the, the bathroom in here, which I'll, uh, I'll show you that now. Oh, and sorry, before I do that, you've got your uh, muster station information on your door as well. And then on your door as well, you've got this little lock. So if you didn't want anybody coming in, you turn it up so nobody can enter and you have a little peephole just there so you can you can look outside and see who's knocking on your door right the bathroom uh again it's quite spacious you've got a a walk-in shower which is i think is quite big i'm uh, six foot and there's plenty of space in here for me i, I have got my elbows a few times on the uh on the shower walls but there's ample space in here you've got your uh wicked angle your toiletries uh you've got salt shower gel that comes with the uh the room as well and i will say this about the showers they're really powerful i thought having a, a shower in a, a cruise ship for some reason i thought the water pressure would be really low but they're not it's it's a really good shower plenty of uh, pressure coming out there so uh great and hot water all the time it's, it's never dropped once it's always remained consistent you, your sink your tap this is for lifting your uh, plug up and down, let water out. You've got, again, we've not been using this, you've got more cupboard space underneath there, but we found that we, we didn't need to because we've got more than enough space. You've got your bin in there, and then in this little cupboard, which a lot of people don't really check in, is the most important part, the toilet roll. Uh, they also supply you with uh, salt as well for washing your hands. And then you have these little units, little shelves here that you can hang your other bits and bats in. You've got your towels up there, which the uh, they supply with fresh towels every day. If you need it, you just put your towel on the floor. If you don't want your towel changing every day, then you just hang it up on this door in. And then you've got some more little shelves here as well. You've got a toilet uh, cleaner there. You've got your toilet roll. And that is it again. We're not concerned at all next time we book a, a cruise because the inside cabin's been fantastic. And that is the uh, full tour. Okay, see you later. And I've just remembered there's one more thing I want to show you. It's the laundry facility that is on the Morella ship. It's the size of the plastic bag to put your washing in. There is a, a price guide somewhere, but I can't find it in the room. I think it was 16.95 to fill your bag up. So you can get a lot in here. We've, we had plenty. Uh, I think we had like five pairs of shorts. Might have had six, seven tops. We had uh, underwear in there as well. We had quite a lot. And it was 16.95 for that bag. And it took about 24 to 36 hours to come back. But you can pay a surcharge of 50 additional percent. And you can get I just wanted to apologize for the filming here. I'm uh, headless on this one. So all you're going to see is my top off. I don't know how, what I did or how I did this. But yeah, not great recording. Uh, just one more uh, comment. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you like the uh, content. Give me a like uh, if you found the video helpful and entertaining. And don't forget to press that notification so you don't miss out on any updates. Enjoy the rest of the vlog. You can, pay, you can pay for your items individually, but it works out far better value just doing it as one big bulk instead of individual, because I think individual price is about 95 or two pound for one item. But yeah, so that's been great for us because there's certain clothes that we want to wear again in the second week, and we've been able to wash them and wear them again. So it's a great facility to, to the Marilla do on that. So that's it. 
This is the Gin and Whiskey Bar and we went to say goodbye to Nerez. He's from Delhi and he's worked for Morella for six years. He took great care of us uh, while on our two week cruise. He's such a nice bloke, really happy, always smiling, uh, knows what you want. He's just a really nice guy. Uh, so we want to go and say goodbye. But yeah, go to this bar, it's amazing. My name is Neeraj, I'm from India, North India, Delhi and I'm working in this cruise ship six years. Whiskey bar, I am the in charge of the gin and whiskey bar and this guy, this Steve, he likes to drink gin <laughs> every day. So, so this is a story that you have to see this guy, he's amazing. This is me and Gemma having our final drink in the Squid and Anchor. There was background music, but I've had to switch it off as I get copyrighted on YouTube. Just want to say a huge thank you to all the staff from Morella that looked after me and Gemma on our two week cruise. You've been absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. Well, that's the end of this particular uh, vlog series. Uh, I've enjoyed putting this vlog together. I've learned a lot, made a lot of mistakes, <laughs> things that I'll do better uh, in my next vlog. Thank you so much for all the nice comments and the thumbs up. Please don't forget to press that notification and subscribe button and uh, hope you join me for the next vlogs. Love you. Bye. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away. To a place where we don't know About to see the world in action